what ambitions have you got for your music now? And where are you going with it? Um, I, as far as music goes, I find it really hard to uh, to get excited about the way it all works now when when you put so much into making a record and then you ex you're expected to almost give it away. Mm -hmm. And that, that kind of that rubs the wrong way with me. So I'm a bit frustrated with the music business at the moment, so I'm trying to get myself into other things. But having said that, I do want to make a Paul Young record. And I think I we just sort of decided that it's just got to be good songs, well played. Yeah. Um, but the rock swing things went down really well with the critics and with the fans, didn't it? I mean, that was a great idea. The rock swings thing went well, and as a project, I thought it was about 70% successful. Because the thing is, I was taking modern songs and putting them into a swing yeah, format, yeah. which isn't going to work as well with some songs as it is with others. But it's an interesting thing to do. Yeah, it's an interesting thing to do. And what was great about that was when I did the orchestra thing in December, we were able to split the show in almost into thirds. So first of all, you'd got Paul Young hits, which I had to do, so we did them, but with a slightly different arrangement. Then we did uh, about, so it's about five or six hits, about five or six from My Rock Swings album, which are modern songs, but done in a swing style. And then the final kind of half a dozen songs were actual old swing songs, like Bad Bad Leroy Brown. And But I, I, once again, I try to stay away from doing the regular Frank yeah. Sinatra parody things, yeah. and we did I Just Want to Make Love to You, which was an Etta James song, but at least yeah. it's still big band, you know. And, um, and we did uh, Ray Charles, Let, Let the Good Times Roll. So it, it was quite, a, it, it was a nice, wide, varied set, yeah. and, and I really enjoyed doing that. Excellent. Can we talk about um, Away From Music, because you've, you've got a love of cooking, I know. Um, <laughs> yes, I Chef, you won, didn't you? And, uh, uh, I didn't win. I got into the I got into the um, the quarterfinals. Right. And um, so I did that. Now I did Hell's Kitchen as well. Yeah. But I, 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 they asked me to do it because they knew that I'd got an interest in cooking. And when I did in Celebrity MasterChef, that's kind of hard because you've got to show what you know. And and uh, the thing is, you've got to constantly keep coming up with new stuff. You know? um, and because I like Italian and Mexican and, and um, Cajun, there's only so much you can do, but then they want you to get into Asian or something like right. that, which is not st stuff I do, you know. Yeah. But when I went on to Hell's Kitchen, that was good because I was learning stuff, you know, I was with one of the masters. So that was great. So it has got me in the frame of mind where I think as I settle into my old age, I'd like to have a little <laughs> place of my own, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that can, with a good partner, so it'll, it'll run in my absence yeah. and I can still keep doing music. I just think it, it would be nice to have another string to my boat. I'm yeah. thinking about a cookery book as well. Yeah. Uh, someone else approached me, they want to do it. So it wasn't something that I tried to set up myself. Um, but I thought it was a good idea and I have got enough re recipes we're going to call it Paul Young on my travels, and uh, and it will be based on all of the first stuff I learned when I first started to travel around the world, right. and go, God, this is great enough to cook, cook this back <laughs> home, you know. And get the recipe and take it home and never go. And yeah, well, I used to buy books, you know, I'd eat somewhere and go, God, that was great. Uh, and like in New Orleans, Paul Paul Prudon was the top chef. Uh, there's about there's many more now in New Orleans. Yeah. There's about ten, twelve, all great, well-known chefs. But I mean, he there he was about the only one. And uh, so I bought the book and yep. learned how to cook it at home. 